All right, let's bring you on back home to the uh, other story that is really the big story of the day here, and it is an uproar at the Michigan State Board of Trustees yet again, and it all comes on the first day of work for MSU's new president. So a new report came out over the weekend showing ethics and conduct violations by board members. So board chair Rima Vassar resigned from her position as board chair. She's still on the board of trustees, and Dennis Denno has been censured, and he is still on the board. So let's get to Rod Maloney, who is in transit on his way to East Lansing to cover the story right now. So, Rod, um, I know that the governor is now being brought into this. Uh, the board is asking that she remove these two members. Give us a sense of where everything stands right now. Well, it's uh, interesting that you mentioned the uh, lovely weather today because it's sort of a good start on a Monday, right? And that's where <laughs> MSU finds itself because there is a new president, and his name is Kevin Gerskowitz. He is taking over the helm. And there's also a new board chair, board of trustees chair, um, and his name is Kevin Kelly. Make that Daniel Kelly, forgive me. And he uh, he takes over the board because of the vote that was held last night uh, when Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Rima, as she goes by, uh, Dr. Rima Vassar, said that uh, she would step down as board president. And it all has to do with this report here which is the Michigan State University Independent Investigation Report by a law firm out of Washington, D.C. And inside the report, there is a, a, a recitation of a myriad of bad behavior on the board members' part. Dr. Vassar uh, going after other board members, having, uh, they, they called her a bully, essentially bullying the former president and other people, negotiating a departure of a business school uh, chairperson uh, without the proper permission. They had this board meeting last night where they uh, had Dr. Vassar, she resigned as board chair at the beginning of the meeting. That's Dennis Denno there. And uh, he is a longtime Lansing uh, political operative and a board member. Uh, and he had his own issues of uh, basically misusing his influence. That's uh, Brianna Scott. She's another board member. Scott and Vassar were getting into it pretty heavily. Uh, Doctor, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Scott actually uh, well, got into trouble for apparently leaking some of the board information as it pertains to the presidential uh, appointment of Mr. Bierskowitz uh, in advance of the last interviews and the board vote on that. So there was all of this behavior uh, in a university that has already been reeling from the uh, fatal shooting of a year ago from the Dr. Vassar situation. And they've run through about five different presidents over the last few years. And so what the board did last night was to look to try and calm things down. So uh, Dr. Rima Vassar steps down. She then gets taken off of one of her appointments of the board. And is only allowed to act as a board member. Same thing with Dennis Denno, who, uh, Brianna Scott. Uh, she had her own issues and she was censured, uh, but she wasn't hit as hard as Vassar and Denno were. And so we're on our way to East Lansing to see if we can get anybody to talk about it. We've reached out to everybody that we've just mentioned here to see if we can get somebody to talk about it. So far, nobody's saying anything. Bottom line is, is that there is a need, the, the report says clearly that there is a need for the board to change. They want them to do more training so that the board members clearly understand what it is that they're supposed to do and how they're supposed to act in terms of ethics and the like. And uh, in the meantime, the, the board looks to try and sort of right the ship, pump things down and get on with life under this president. So, Rod, um, you know, bottom line, too, they remain on the board. It is the governor who has the only power here to yes. remove board members? Yes, I neglected to uh, point that out. Thank you for, for asking, because, yes, the governor gets this final say as to what happens to Dr. Vassar and Dennis Denno. I've reached out to the governor's office and they are responding in some small way, but they're not saying whether there's gonna be a decision today or what the governor intends to do. But yes, it is on the governor's desk right now to decide what should happen here. And uh, clearly the governor uh, is, you know, probably is very happy about having to deal with this, but that's one of those things that comes with the job. And so we'll have to wait and see whether they actually respond today or not. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll let you on your way on 96 heading to uh, heading to campus. Rod Maloney and he'll have uh, reports for us on Local 4 News at five and six. All right. Drive safe, Rod. We'll see you in just a little bit.